Welcome to our YouTube. I'm Dr. Gloria Horsley, and we are at the Pathways to Success Conference by the Bay, put on by Outcome Resources, helping hospices succeed. And I'm talking to Devin Dobbs. Hi, Devin. Hi, how are you? Now, you are quite an innovator. Tell us what you started. Well, thank you. I think I could say the same about you as well. Um, I started, uh, co-founded actually with Lori Butterworth, uh, Children's Hospice and Palliative Care Coalition. We're a statewide advocacy coalition here in California. Wow, kids really need that kind of advocacy, don't they? Oh, absolutely, and their families as well. Mm -hmm. I remember when I worked in hospice that uh, sometimes children would not be able to have the same health care provider with them when they left the hospital if they went into hospice. Is that still the case? Well, we've actually, in California, we've been looking at finding new ways in terms of opening up access to hospice and palliative care in the home for children. And so we are actually building uh, programs in which they can transition. They're still working with their medical team there at the hospital. They've still got their primary care physician who's very involved in their care. And then they're working with their hospice or home health team there in the home to ensure that they're getting the care that they need to be home safely. Wow, that's great because I know that's such a stress for families and kids get connected with their health care workers and then they're gone, right? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, that's always been one of the bigger issues is that, you know, families are now then in the past had always been faced with this kind of either or. Either we're going to keep going, working with our medical team there in the hospital, or we're going to enroll in hospice. And so it put them in this, you know, really impossible position of trying to determine what was best for their child. And so we said, you know, why can't you have both? Why can't you have access to that care in the home? Um, you know, the pain and symptom management, the emotional, the psychological, the spiritual support, while at the same time still having that support within the hospital. And, um, you know, both through the concurrent care provision, which is part of the Affordable Care Act, and also through Partners for Children, which is our medical palliative care program we've been able to open up opportunities for children to have access to both. Well, California is, sounds like you're kind of ahead of the curve on things, right? How are things going in other states, do you know? Um, a lot of states are doing some innovative things. I mean, I think one of the things that's really interesting is when we first started doing this about 13 years ago, pediatric palliative care, was a, nobody even used the phrase. And there were these wonderful physicians and clinicians and advocates and some family members around the country that were doing great things, but it was very siloed and very small pockets. And now what we're seeing is not just with pediatrics, but in palliative care in general, there's a lot more talk and there's a lot more innovation going on. And we see that definitely in pediatrics. Now, I know one of the issues has kind of been that uh, people are only in care for seven days now because they have treatment for so long. Have you seen that with kids or are they in treatment longer? Well, I mean, through our Medi-Cal uh, Partners for Children program, the palliative care program, we've had uh, kids on the program for three, four years already at a time. Um, with the concurrent care requirement through the Affordable Care Act, we're seeing the children still have to have a prognosis of likely less than six months to live. But what we are finding is, is that they're actually enrolling in hospice sooner because their parents are no longer forced to make that decision between treatment or the comfort care of hospice. Wow. Well, I hope everybody who's watching this YouTube will, if they don't have this kind of uh, information going on in their state, you can look at your website, right? Oh, absolutely. chpcc.org. Um, and there's information both on what we're doing in California and some information on what other states are doing as well. Um, we'd also love to hear from people if they've got ideas or if they have things going on within their state, need assistance. Um, we've got a really wonderful um, team of advocates within our Medi-Cal department here who are very willing to, they've partnered very closely with us and we openly kind of share information across state lines. We would love to do that. Anything that we've learned here. All right. Well, it's all about community and we are glad that you're part of our open hope community and Devin is open to having you get in touch with her, right? Absolutely. Thanks for being on, Devin. Thank you.